Hey, what is up, guys? Teacher Ben here. This is my second installment in the ongoing series of uh, making of a Division I athlete, a professional athlete. Uh, this is going into my cross-country year of my senior year, 1999. So uh, the first three years kind of meddling in mediocrity, uh, my senior year, uh, last uh, three races really kind of break out of that mediocrity and it becomes uh, relatively apparent that I'm going to have some type of college athletic uh, opportunity. Um, so so without further ado, let's let me get uh, to the start of this of this journey because like I said, the first seven or eight races I continued to medal in mediocrity and the final three I broke through, uh, thanks to God, you know, so, uh, that one was not of my own doing. That was, uh, God's doing. Okay. So, uh, here we have, um, this is going through the first couple races of my senior year. Um, so we have here senior year. Generally, I was the star runner of an average high school, uh, team. Uh, so, so usually, uh, you know, an average team in high school may have a runner run in 17 and um, uh, mostly a lot of guys run in 1930. So I was at 1830. Some average teams in in the state of Ohio would have a couple guys at 1830. I was the I was probably on the team like this. There was uh, two or three runners between 1830 and 19 flat. Um, I was happening to be on the top end of that uh, group of three um, now. Okay, so again, you can read here, and 1830, PR is generally not good enough uh, to make it on a college team. I really don't know any college team that would be so bad as to use somebody running in 1830. And I do apologize if you are an, a guy running in 1830, uh, that will give you a quality uh, high school cross country experience, but probably not going to make it on 99% of the college teams. All right. So uh, this kind of does continue to uh, go through my uh, initial six or seven meets as a as a senior uh, on the cross country team. Uh, like I said, generally running 1830s. Um, so generally I did have a quality social network as uh, my fellow teammates uh, did respect me. And so, um, yeah, so I did train all summer long of my junior year and all of my senior year uh, running, lifting, preparing for the basketball season. As I said, I was a basketball player first, runner second, until uh, God works his miracle in the last uh, three races of my senior year. Okay, so uh, here you have a picture of me and uh, who was essentially my best friend uh, in high school and throughout most of college. Um, now, here we have, I did really did not expect what would happen next. And really, I never dream, I did kind of dream about this happening, but um, I really, um, you know, after four years of, of kind of running your 1830s every time, I didn't really think it was possible. Okay, so, uh, but God does work miracles every day. Okay, so here we have a small breakthrough. This is my third to last race of my senior year. A very small personal record. It did happen at the right time. All right. So uh, as a runner, you want to what is called a peak at the end of the year when the most important races are. Okay. So um, yes, uh, at the right time, I am second team all league. The league was called Mid Miami League and I am second team. Um, so my time, as you can see down here at the bottom, was an 822. And I said I was running 1830, so 822 would be a personal record by eight seconds. You know, not a, uh, 
not an enormous breakthrough, but as a runner, you you do uh, try to uh, cherish and 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 really take these little eight second improvements because if you can get them week after week after week, eventually they do produce a quality time. Okay, so here we have uh, second team all MML wasn't bad. It, uh, I think that it was a pretty hot day and a hilly course, which may have. Uh, produce slow times for the other runners because running 1830 I I never really uh, was thinking hey if I run anything close to an 1830 I'm going to be second team all league but it did happen 1822 second team all league all right so uh, now we have what is essentially um, basically the biggest race of my life because I transform from your average high school runner into an elite runner. All right. So I was kind of anticipating it. Uh, there were uh, guys who um, <coughs> I had, I had scouted on the, on the, uh, my coach had helped me uh, look at what had happened last year at the, at the district meet and what kind of times, uh, you know, who was running what kind of times and I, uh, you know, being ambitious and kind of uh, not not ready to kind of look at reality, I I chose some guys who were running 1720, and I said, well, if I can just uh, start the race and hang with them for a half mile, one mile, we'll see if I can get to 1.5, we'll see if I can get to two, uh, and you know, I even thought 2.5 or three, I'm going to try to stay with these guys. Um, so the race starts and I stay with these guys half mile. No problem. It's really easy. But, you know, normally that does happen and I will slow down, get to the one mile mark still with these guys. No problem. Again, uh, probably at the 1.5 mile, uh, I will trail off and they will take off uh, 1.5 mile. I'm still with these guys. Um, all right. That's a little bit of a shock to me. Uh, so I say, Hey, let's, let's try to get to the two, to the two mile point at the two mile point. I'm still with these guys. All right. So I do kind of start to hit the panic button. What if I'm going to completely bomb this amazing start? Um, but somehow I hang in there 2.5 miles. I'm still with these guys. Um, so I start to realize, you know, barring some type of catastrophic end, I'm probably going to qualify for the regionals. Okay. So, and I would have probably have run a 1650 if I was able to stay with the guys. Uh, at that point, um, something went through my head where I was like, you know, maybe I'm tired. And, and for some reason I did trail off. I may not have really have been as tired as I felt, but I can tell you that night slept like a baby. I actually went home and slept from like 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I did put in a pretty good effort. Um, you know, I do think the last half of a mile could have could have had more effort. But uh, Barry, uh, judging from the fact that I was exhausted enough to fall asleep for three hours in the middle of the day, I can't really ever remember uh, being so exhausted from a race that I had to sleep in the middle of the day for three hours. But uh, anyway, I finished 1723. Um, I was second team all Southwest Ohio. I set a personal record by 59 seconds. Okay, so I hadn't even run under 18 ever, but I'm doing it today at the at the biggest point in time and running a low 17, 1723. And so Yes, uh, all credit be to God. You know, I prayed to God and said, God, could you please help me come up with a huge race? You know, I want to give my senior year a massive uh, send off. Uh, little did I know he would get, grant me that. And uh, from there on out, I would essentially be thinking about a quality senior track season. And uh, I'd be able to look at running in college with a 1723. So, uh, yes, a 1723 would, in fact, uh, put you in the bottom of the rack 
of a college uh, team. You would be a bad college runner, but you would be running in college. So let's see how I do at the regional meet. All right, so stage was set for me to qualify for the state championship. Uh, God does say not yet. Um, I did slow down from my personal record from 1723 to 1750. Uh, again, under the 18 minute mark, uh, but not going to get you into the state championships. Okay, so, and really, um, yeah, so um, I did again uh, win the MVP award for the team two years in a row, and uh, really, stage is set for what will be yet another incredible season of high school running with the spring. Uh, track season, and I will try to do a, a installment about my season as a senior on the track team. Year was 2000. All right, so uh, this is the end. Uh, thank you uh, to my friends, my social network who supported me, really gave me incredible support all that year. Um, you know, some of the best support I had received in my life as a runner, and so. Um, yes. And so here I am, uh, with my buddy and here I am with my coach. Uh, so that was really one of the more quality coaching experiences I had because of the fact that we were actually genuine and sincere friends with each other. Okay. So, um, there you have it. Uh, that is my, uh, senior year of cross country. And uh, yes, uh, do stay tuned as I will be making uh, more videos about my sports career. And uh, if you're interested in my family or my travels, those will be coming too. Those will be coming next. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben. Bye-bye.